I'm Sharon and this is my friend Ollie. We're going to talk about the best way to photograph your pet so that you can paint a picture of them. This is a fun project where everyone in the family can give it a try. From this photograph we're going to create an outline which we will use for a guide. For your materials you can use anything from pencil crayons to acrylic paints to pastels. First we need a photograph for a reference as we can ask our pet, to, can't ask our pet to pose, can we Ollie, for too long a period of time. They're just way too impatient. I'm using my cell phone because we all have one. But I need to tell you that the best quality of camera, like an SLR, would give you more detail. Um, I want eye contact with a pet so we can enjoy his beautiful personality. So I'm getting down to a spot where I can get to eye level. Right now I'm on a deck and the camera is a couple of steps down from me so that we can see right into his beautiful eyes. You want to do that with the painting as well. You don't want to be looking down on him like he's a small dog when he's not. He's a big beautiful dog. Okay, if we were outside, um, I would probably shoot the picture around this time about five o'clock where the shadows are nice and soft midday the shadows are way too harsh inside I have to deal with the available light so I would probably shoot a picture by the window um, so that I can get some highlights on the side of his face I might get down right down lying on the floor so I can get to his level or if it's a small dog you could put him on the couch and he could sit uh, there with his mom while you took a picture. Uh, the ideal shot would be the head and chest um, and it would probably be a three-quarter shot like that okay so that you can still see his eyes. The dog is going to be very much aware of the camera and sometimes it helps to have a friend available to distract him. You don't really want him with his mouth open if you can avoid it because it's very difficult to paint. So if you find a friend who can uh, make a sudden noise or, or bring a, show a treat, that might get him to close his mouth. Like that, okay? So that you can still see his eyes. The dog is going to be very much aware of the camera and sometimes it helps to have a friend available to distract him. Here are some examples of what I'm talking about. We have personal contact with the pet. So important, especially when they're yours. I usually print off at 11 by 14. It'll be the reference photo for the rest of your project. It's not so small that uh, you can't get detail and it's not so big that it's expensive to frame. Well, stand by because once your photo is image has been put to paper, you can easily transfer it to your painting. And this will provide you with an excellent outline that everybody in the family can use. I'll meet you back at the studio.
Here are some examples of what I'm talking about. We have personal contact with these pets. So important, especially when they're yours.